Well guys, before the evening's over, I thought I'd let you have a little peek at this uh, roast I made. It's right there. That's my glamour shot. And uh, if I remember, I'll cut it open and we'll see what it looks like. Good morning everyone, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. And this is the extension of the video I did yesterday, which I was cooking, it's gone. <laughs> the trigger, we made a beautiful sir sirloin roast, came out beautiful. Uh, it was kind of out of the blue, decided to make that just because it, it was such a beautiful looking roast that I saw at the store the other day. And uh, came out really good. Had a big old baked potato. <laughs> and uh, when Sherry got home, she got a good dinner. And today is a cloudy, dreary day. We uh, hopefully, if the weather hangs in there enough, I'll get the rest of the uh, chicken wire done on this uh, chicken tractor. Uh, but in the meantime, you know the old routine. Uh, we do have to go get some eggs and uh, feed the piggies and check on the chickens. So let's get going on that. Well, I'll just check the eggs. Did pretty good, about, I don't know, about 15. That's a good thing. And uh, once again, we hide these up here to keep away from cinder. There. And, uh, I've got some noisy little piggies over here. <laughs> These little guys are quite the characters. They never squeal or really even grunt until they're hungry. Here they are. Hi guys. What's up? Is hungry? Holy moly. All right, let's get these guys fed. Yeah, I also notice I'm starting to get a uh, green and a red blinking light on here, which means I need to charge it up. So that's what I keep this box here for, is to uh, keep things dry. And I do have a power cord out here, so we're going to hook this up and get it all charged up really good. Well, I checked the greenhouse. Everything's looking pretty good there. Still didn't find my uh, praying mantis. <laughs> I don't know where you went. But uh, it's kind of funny. I was kind of thinking about things today. And uh, I think I was on Facebook. And uh, sometimes you're kind of curious, like, whatever happened to some people that you used to hang out with? And uh, being 60, a lot of things have happened in my life from craziness from school. Uh, being a square dance caller like I showed you the other day. Uh, having people that worked with us, uh, starting businesses, growing through aerospace company uh, with my career there. And uh, it's funny how all your high school people you used to hang out with typically uh, go by the wayside. I don't know a lot of people that still hang out with people that they uh, went to high school with. Uh, see, some of the names I can remember is Dan Whitaker, Dan Davis, Kerry Whitaker, um, Jim, <laughs> and try to remember their names from back then, uh, Jim Wilson, a uh, few folks like that. Then uh, uh, during our square dance days, there was a bunch of people we worked with, uh, with the preteens that we used to uh, be advisors and stuff like that. And, and uh, 
a lot of us went our different ways, different ideas, and uh, uh, over time, you know, <coughs> there's no way you could do what we did back in the 80s. <coughs> Kids are different now. Uh, but, you know, there was a lot of folks we work with. Probably the one that we missed the most is a, a gentleman that was a, uh, we kind of continued connect, connecting for a few years after our 20s. Um, his name was Dan Davis. Uh, it's kind of special to our family. Uh, he actually was a uh, godfather type thing to our kids for quite a while. Uh, but times times moved on. <clears throat> Not quite sure what happened to him. We'd love to hear from him again just to see how he's doing because even my kids still to this day say, whatever happened to him? <clears throat> he had a daughter who's doing really well. I think she just started, I think that's what got me thinking about it. She started a, a mobile uh, horse transportation company because I know she had a real enthusiasm from horses from her mother and father really had a nice little place out in Enumclaw. <clears throat> and you know, through the years, uh, people drop off uh, Don Carico. Uh, was somebody we used to enjoy being with. We used to go hunting a lot. Um, and uh, he still uh, says hello once in a while, stuff like that. And uh, he was actually pretty close with Sherry's father. And uh, we're uh, uh, happy for him and we'd love to, love to hear from him more. And uh, let's see. Of course, we got all these new acquaintances. Probably my closest person I really appreciate is George Guzman, uh, which uh, you'll see him on some of our podcasts. Also, John Smith uh, has turned out to be a very good friend. He also runs a podcast. And uh, I used to own radio stations and stuff like that. So a lot of times acquaintances were people that just wanted something from you. But after I shut that down, it kind of showed to me the people that we really connected as friends. And uh, so now we just still try to help each other. Uh, but it's my... <laughs> uh, I was a real gung-ho person as, as young. I'm still gung-ho, but not as much. I don't have as much energy as I used to have. And uh, sometimes that's intimidating. It gets people uncomfortable because you just want to strive and do things and, and dream and and start businesses and stuff like that. And other people just like, eh, I'm gonna stay in the matrix. <laughs> Have fun, Rob. Um, and when it comes to risk and uh, sticking your neck out for a dream, it's not for everyone. And uh, understandable, <laughs> you know, people just don't wanna make those kind of risks. And uh, I just kind of wonder sometimes if those people go through life wondering what if i would have done that because i know we had some crazy dreams back we actually tried to start i tried to start and had some people involved in it but they bailed <laughs> scared the hell out of them and i was probably too aggressive uh play we started a business or well, tried to start a business in 1980 called zoom video and photography i have to laugh about that it was a way ahead of its time <clears throat> It, you know, it was when video cameras first came out and I thought photography would be a nice, nice mix. And uh, gosh, if we would have stuck with that, we probably would have been well-to-do companies, uh, well-to-do people. But, uh, you know, when it came to renting buildings and building stuff, all of that, um, <laughs> it spooked the, the people that were involved. You know, we're all in our 20s. And... Uh, yeah, that didn't work out too well, but I kind of think back and I go, boy, what if we really took that on? We could have been, you know, look at where video is now and photography is today. Uh, we would have been ahead of the game. But, you know, and then I've actually owned several businesses since then. So as people that come into your life and go out of your life, a lot of times it's just because they want something from you or... Uh, you know, so you can't always trust those friendships. Or they're just more like acquaintances. And so, uh, that's probably been my biggest problem is I've ran so many different companies and stuff like that. 
I never know if somebody's really a friend or they just want to take what you got. I've had that a lot with internet uh, web design companies and annexation companies. And uh, the market changes so much throughout the years. What's hot today was not hot tomorrow. And so sometimes you start something and then you gotta fold it up. I had an internet web design company in 2003. The writing was on the wall, it was time to sell that. Um, I had a kite, chain of kite stores. And that was pretty much of a fad. So uh, by 1995, we had to either shut them down or sell them. Um, other people, uh, by the way, acquaintances we met through those things was uh, Jim Jim Barber and Monica. It's not Barber anymore, they got divorced, but uh, always wondering how they're doing. Uh, they bought some of our kite stores after we got out of it. And uh, uh, yeah, it's just kind of funny how people come in and out of your life. And uh, of course at this age, you're just kind of curious, like I wonder how some of those people are doing. I get a kick out of like some of the kids we used to deal with in the square dance preteens and teens, how some of them have actually contacted us to, to kind of tell us how their lives turned out. Like uh, I just did a video about Tracy Holden uh, was fighting cancer. Uh, Ron Ross, it was really neat to, to talk to him and his sister Kathy. Uh, we talked to them before. Uh, Mike Frank. Uh, it's kind of neat to just see how their lives have changed. We've known them when they were kids. Seeing them in their 40s or 50s now is amazing. Uh, yeah. Um, sometimes it's sad. You kind of wish you would have stayed in contact with each other. But once again, uh, uh, me being a very gung-ho person probably and scared off a lot of folks and and, and there's decisions and things you did back then that you would probably never do today. And uh, the world was, uh, gosh, wild and crazy back then. There were so many opportunities to do things and everything I looked at was an opportunity. Other folks just like, eh, just give me my paycheck. I'm good. <laughs> or they really just always enjoyed their hobbies. Like, uh, like Don Carrico, he just has always enjoyed deer hunting. And uh, to this day, he's a very avid deer hunter. And uh, we've kind of drifted away from all that. So it's kind of funny. Uh, at this age, the other thing you see with friendships that go away, which we've lost a lot of good friends, is they, they've passed away. And uh, kind of a weird part of our life now where we're watching people we've known for years uh, pass away and uh, uh, there's been people with businesses I've, that come and go that were I thought really great people and uh, yeah and family sometimes is a funny thing um, uh, I've gotten very well connected with my sister uh, she's 10 years older than me <laughs> so I always give her a hard time about being the old lady um, gotten much closer Time is too short. Um, other friends or acquaintances of, uh, I know, through either Sherry's folks or other opportunities we've have, have come and gone too. And uh, I can't say that Sherry and I would like the kind of people that, you know, go to uh, clubs or organizations or like to watch football. You know, we like football and baseball, but we watch them on TV. We don't go to the activities and, and having a homestead you get pretty devoted to that so it's pretty hard to leave so uh but at the same time met really neat people uh people have businesses here people that have the same uh, uh ideas for homesteading and stuff uh podcast groups that we've met um and uh I'm sorry, I'm watching Bell. I think Bell found a uh, shrew. Anyway, uh, um, squirrel. <laughs> anyway, it's just, I don't know. I don't know if anybody like you uh, guys ever kind of wonder about old friends. 
old acquaintances how they're doing. Um, to me, it's always neat to kind of just talk and I'm sure our lives have all changed so much. Um, and uh, the only thing that's been real consistent is it's always been me and Sherry. Uh, Sherry and I got married at age 19 and uh, we've been through all kinds of financial things up and down throughout the years, but we seem to manage to get through it all. Um, I'm kind of keeping the camera over here so you can see. Belle's trying to catch a mouse or something. She's actually really good at it. So, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, and traveling. We also did a whole bunch of traveling in RV. Um, you know, this channel used to be RV Travel Buddy, so Sherry and I had the wonderful experience twice to go full-time RVing, go see a few things, and it was really cool. We met a lot of neat people. Uh, gosh, um, folks should... I want to say... Not Monica. Um, Mar Marsha from... Uh, we met in Las Vegas, which now live in Walla Walla, um, Washington. Uh, I can't remember her husband's name, but uh, they were really neat people. Uh, Kelly and, and uh, another, I can't remember their last name. Um, I can't see the times go on. Uh, the other couple we really met was really cool. Uh, they ended up in Florida. And uh, yeah, so we met a lot of neat people throughout the years, did business with a lot of people, did organizations with a lot of people, um, had our ins and outs, we had our disagreements. Um, at this age, uh, don't really hold a grudge too much on some of those old things back then. Because, uh, you know, I look at my life 20, age 20 or 30, um, definitely not the same person. But I tell you one thing, I've gone through life with a lot of opportunities and things I've tried, some I failed, some I was successful at, and I don't regret any of them because now I can go through life saying, I don't say what if that much. Um, I actually did some of the stuff I thought I'd wanna try, you know, started some businesses, traveled, um, took a chance, lost sometimes, got my ass kicked, other times super successful. So uh, I know Sherry just says, you know, it's been quite a ride and uh, she, we wouldn't, we don't regret any of it. Could we have done some of it better? Sure. Could we have uh, uh, missed opportunities? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, I don't know if you guys ever have those thoughts about what happened to old friends or old acquaintances. Um, I know sometimes it's really great to catch up. Oh, another one I gotta say, do a shout out to is Christy Emerson. She, we had a kite team. We used to compete through uh, in the Northwest, um, flying kites. And uh, when you do that, you're very close. We had four people. And uh, uh, back in the day, the timing was just right. We were going to the beach a lot to practice. We had to go to a lot of competitions back then. This is in the 90s. And she still keeps in touch with us. And uh, we've been trying for 10 years to have a reunion and try to, because um, all of us still have our kites from our kite team days. Uh, we'd love to get together and just fly together. Um, so I'm not getting any younger. I got to make that happen someday. So, uh, but anyway. And of course, all of us had kids and grandkids by then, and some have had divorces, have had changes in their lives, and, uh, uh, you know, puts a twist in everything. But really, in the long run, when you get our age, you get a little more accepting and just like, you can understand how life does what it does. But it's always nice to find out how all these people are doing. Um, I'm sure I miss some people, um, and uh, I apologize. But uh, I was just kind of making this video on a whim. So uh, if I happen, if somebody happens to see our video, that's an old time acquaintance, say hello. Give us a call someday. Love to just see what's going on in your lives and how many kids you have and grandkids and all that kind of stuff. We really like it. So with that in mind, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. <coughs> so please take the time to like, 
subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world we'd appreciate it and uh leave comments below we'd love to hear from you and uh have a great day everybody bye our videos are made possible by ranger rob poopy bags available at amazon right now thank you very much for watching our video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world thanks